Hello, good night. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Hey, are you ready? I'm going to check the attendance. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Okay. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Hello, hello. Hello, good, good evening. evening, welcome. Thank you. Alex Gonzalo. Present. <laughs> Ana Julissa. Carlos David. Present. Okay. Claudia Margarita. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Concepción de Lourdes. Dalila. Present, teacher. Excellent. Elena Marisol. I'm here, teacher. Great. Aileen Lorena. Aileen, no. Idalia Margarita. Present, teacher. Excellent. Iliana Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Ingrid Morena. Present teacher. Great. Jefferson Alexis. Present teacher. Excellent. Jenny Hakani. Present teacher. Great. Where is the name Hakani come from? Do you know? Jenny? I'm I'm just curious. But if you didn't say, no problem. It's San Salvador. Pero de, de donde viene? O, de, de, o que significa? Ah, se dicen que es este japonés. Ah, yes. Es, este, como flor o flor linda o la linda flor, algo así. Oh, yes, because Hakani, it doesn't sound like Salvadorian, like a Salvadorian name, como María Juana o algo así. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Okay. okay. Juan Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. And ready. Juan José. I teacher here. Great. Liliana Dolores. Present. Okay. Luis Alejandro. Presente, profe. Excellent. Luis Josué. Manuel Fernando. Stop playing, Manuel. Fernando, your microphone, it doesn't function? You have problems? You hear me now? Oh, yes. Yeah. King Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay. Marjorie, Marilyn. I'm here, coach. Great. 
Olga Lisette. Present, Miss. Excellent. Reina Margarita. Present, Miss. Okay. Thelma Yamilet. Present, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Veronica Alicet. Present, teacher. Okay. And Vilma Aide. Vilma. No. Also, I have another question. Teacher, <laughs> I'm here. Yes, Lourdes. Vamos a ver. Yes, Concepción de Lourdes. Miss. Concepción, yes. Okay. Thank you. Alex, do you work at a radio? Or no, or not. Excuse me, repeat, please. Do you work what? Do you work in a radio, in a radio program? Ah, uh, no, 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 never, never. No. I, ah. I wonder, I wonder, but uh, I don't but, have chance, okay. any chance in my life. <laughs> in my 41 years, I be to like uh, work to radio. Okay, but it sounds like you practice the the <laughs> the phrases. So I I thought yes, you were okay. Thank you. Maybe maybe another time. at the future. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but nowadays I think it's like more popular to to work on those areas. Allá en mis tiempos nadie quería estudiar comunicaciones, but now yes, it's very popular. Okay, for today, did you finish the platform? No quiero empezar a jalar orejas. Did you work section one and two? And today you have to start working on section three. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Okay. ok, porque ya voy a entrar a revisar lo que me están diciendo yes, a ver si es cierto. Muy bien, for today we're going to start section three. The topic is about food. So we are going to enjoy this class okay we have here okay may i take your order and we have food first but also we can call them appetizers, appetizers or entries, or food first, como aparecen acá. Okay, and for example, we have um, well, most of them are not, not a starter, but we can classify or we can um, start with, for example, a, uh, a soup, okay, a bowl of soup, or you can start with some onions, rings, or some french fries, okay, those are started, or entries, okay, or appetizers, okay, you, it's not the, 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 the principal meal, okay, but it's like, Mientras tanto, meanwhile. For example, if you go to Pizza Hut, Pargal Comercial, they take you first the palitroques or the bread with garlic. Okay, that's are the entries. Okay, and then you have the pizza, which is the 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 meal. Okay, or the main dish, okay, the main dish. Then 
with the with the main dish or with your meal you have an um uh, a complement you have a complement okay for example if you have a steak you can com complement your your steak with rice and vegetables for example and when you finish your meal you can ask for a dessert okay a dessert and obviously in during the meal you have to drink something okay so those are like the steps of food here in El Salvador it's not very common to eat a whole a whole menu or a whole step we we are accustomed to eat fast food okay something that you order they prepare quickly like in five minutes and then you eat but in other countries like in europe okay a meal or a lunch can last until two hours okay when you go to to eat with someone you have to dedicate at least two hours or one hour and a half to eat a meal okay because it's going for steps and you take the time to talk and la 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 okay but here in el salvador no we are so busy okay entonces tenemos acá some noodles okay first made in china then we have the coffee a first I can read well. In the Middle East. Okay, chocolate. Go to Spain from Mexico. Sorry, okay, Mexico the It's a tree. Uh, it's chocolate. like a cacao. Go to Spain from Mexico. Yes, brought to Spain from yes. Mexico. So it is started in Mexico. Okay, the cacao, right? Then we have we have the French fries, first made in Belgium. The sushi, modern style sushi, first made in Japan. The sandwich, okay, name for the English. English something of sandwich. Pizza, first pizzeria in New York City, opens in 1895. The hamburger invented in Connecticut, USA. Okay, and we can try how to say the years. Okay. Normally, we divide to say a year for example, if we have um, this one. If we divide the date in two parts to say it. So first you say 1895, okay, 1895. But in the cases, for example, this one, este ya la vimos. How do we, uh, no, no, fue como se, how do we say this one? This number. A thousand. A thousand. thousand, okay, a thousand, or one thousand. In those cases, we say the complete number. Uh, when they finish in zeros. But we have here another example. In this case, sería in the 70s. This one. In the, oops. In the 70s. Que en este caso se refiere a todos esos años 
this, o sea, could be from 17, uh, 1701 until 1799. Okay. Se refiere a toda la época. Okay, for example, this one. Juan Carlos? Yes. Tell me, how do you say this date? Uh, 7060. Mm, are you sure? Recuerde que lo íbamos a dividir en dos partes. Seventeen. 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 Sixty. 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 Okay, muy bien. Um, this one. No sabe. Margarita. Um, sería nineteen zero zero. No, in this case, ¿cómo sería? Um, uh, si termina en cero, como oh, cuando termina en cero, no lo vamos a partir. Dijimos. Sería one, one thousand. Ay, no, no recuerdo. Nineteen. Nineteen. Si estamos hablando de la época, como dijimos en este caso, cuando tenemos la S al final, como esta que estaba por acá, se, se, eh, se refiere a la época, o sea, en los años eh, 70 sería, ¿verdad? Okay, in the 70s, in the 70s, in this case, porque se refiere a toda la, a, a toda la época. Pero si no tenemos la S, ¿cómo diríamos? Eh, Fernando. I'm not quite sure about that, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, Alex. But I think it can be on the nighting. Cuando lleva la S en 19. O se tendría que decir cabal como, como, o sea, Ajá. como si no en 1900, 1900. 1900. No, para los años, por lo general, no decimos, no las decimos de esa manera. Ok, en este caso, vaya, tenemos en específico en el en tal año que por ejemplo tenemos el que sería el de la hamburguesa okay, the hamburger invented in Connecticut USA in in 19 yes In the 90s, no. In the 90s is with the S. Okay, let me check this part. Déjeme revisar because I don't remember also. Okay, pero si no es, no, no sería eh, así como en español que decimos 1900, 1900. Por lo general en las fechas no se utiliza de esa manera. Okay, y no podríamos decir in the 90s porque no tenemos la S. In 19, 19, 19,000 could be. 
Let me check. Okay. Y les, I let you know tomorrow. Okay, vamos a, a uh, because Google, eh, 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 yes? Google says Google says that we had to say nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. The nineteen yes. hundred. Ah, okay. Because we have two zeros. In the nineteen hundred. In nineteen hundred. Okay. The correct answer are nineteen hundred. As soon in as Google is, as soon as Google is saying. Okay. okay. So in those in, in this case, this one, the noodles. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Pay the coffee. Uh, Eight hundred in eight hundred fifty. Uh -huh. 850. 850. The 50. chocolate Fif fifteen twenty. Yes, fifteen twenty. And the French fries sixteen eighty. Sixteen eighty. Yes, 80. correct. Yes, you got it. The pizza. Eighteen ninety five. Eighteen ninety five, and the sandwich. Seventeen sixty. Seventeen sixty. Yes, correct. Okay, that's for dates. Esa no era parte del tema, but I'm extended. Teacher, en el sushi cómo era? Perdón. Thousand, one thousand. Okay. So what? What 17. is your? Pardon. Seventeen. Which one? In seventeen. Sushi. Ah, sushi. I sí. I heard no noodles. Is... No no noodles. <laughs> yes, it's sushi. 17. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Me lo imaginé también en el, los macarroncitos con el sushi. <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite food? Okay. What is what 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 kind of food do you like or do you enjoy the most? A ver, let's start with Fernando. What is your favorite food or what type of food is your favorite? That you always want to eat well if we talk about a young food i think that i will go for a hamburgers not necessary junk food not necessary junk food a, a, a homemade it will be i love beans yeah beans. i love beans okay. eggs as well and i love bread I and think if that's, we talk, that's perfect. If we talk about restaurants? If we talk about restaurants, I think uh, Torta Mexicana, I like the most. Yeah. Mexican food. Yeah, Mexican food. Spicy? Do you like a spicy food? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Yes, for what sure. What about Lourdes? What is your favorite food? Vilma, or a volunteer. My volunteer. favorite food teacher is uh, Salvadorian food, for example, pupusas, <laughs> um, pastelitos, I don't know how you say in English. Y pastelitos are pastelitos, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I love it. So the typical food. Typical yes, Salvadorian typical. food. Mm -hmm. Los antojitos. Okay, Veronica. Hello. My favorite food is uh, fat foods. For example, um, pizza 
hamburgers, mmm, tacos. Fast food, okay, fast food. So healthy, Veronica, but you don't eat every day, right? Or one day hamburger, one day pizza, and the next day tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. What about Jefferson? Julissa? Julissa, I don't remember your name from the, the list. Which is your other name, Julissa? Ana Julissa, teacher. Aguilar ah, Rodriguez. Ana Julissa. Finally, you are here. Welcome. Okay, so Julissa, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos, okay, Mexican food. Two points for yeah. Mexican food. Okay, Ingrid. Uh, my favorite food is spaghetti. Creo que se dice en spaghetti. Spaghetti, yes. And yes. pupusa. Okay. So a kind of Italian food. Thelma. Korean and Mexican food. Korean. What can you tell me? What what food? I I I don't um, know. Bibimbap. For, for example, bibimbap. Which one? Um, gimbap, kimchi. Mm, so it's spicy. Okay, but some names yes. of Korean food. Sí, no names. Ah, Korean. okay. They are rare. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> you are the girl fan of the ¿Cómo se llaman las novelas coreanas? Those okay, dramas? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. You like it? Dorama. <laughs> yes. Yes. In the los grupos coreanos? How do you say that? Yes. K-pop. K-pop. Yes, K-pop. Okay. Thank you. Okay, one more volunteer, Juan Carlos, ah, volunteer. Well, my favorite food is the tipped food, sabor, plátano That's... frito, frijoles licuado. Yeah, very, very Salvadorian, a really, a, a real one. Yes. Okay, excellent. Muy bien, entonces, let's move on. We have a conversation going out for dinner. Okay, going out for dinner. Okay, two volunteers to read the conversation. Okay, me. Okay, Eliana. Elena. Eliana and Juan Carlos. Okay. Miss, Miss, sorry, yes. sorry. Yes. Uh, could you tap one time and the applause? The zoom. Zoom. The a little letters. zoom. A little zoom. Zoom. Wait. La de izquierda superior. Uh, bueno, la lupa no, izquierda, 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 izquierda. Yeah, yes. eh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Mm. Ah, pero no lo puedo. Well. Here. No, pues. No, no, Juan Carlos y <laughs> Liliana. Okay, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Mute. Oh. Mute. Okay. Say, 
Would, would, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? <laughs> well, I like where do you think of Indian food? I love, I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it. I love a lot. I do too. And I know an is Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Iroha. Oh. I always want to to go there. Terrible. Ter terrific. Terrible. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have nice. I know a nice Japanese nice. restaurant. Nice. And nice Japanese. Remember the pronunciation uh, in past tense. Okay, one teeth, one teeth with um, like an I sound, one teeth. I've one teeth. always wanted to go there. And then we have terrific, terrific in English is not a negative expression. At the contrary, it's like, wow, super good. Okay, terrific is something good. Okay, terrific, come on. Okay, chivo, let's go. Okay, Elena and Marjorie. Okay. <clears throat> Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I am, I'm not either, I guess. It is a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japan's food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japan's restaurant near here it's called it's called iroha oh i've always wanted to go there terrific let's go okay thank you practice would would this is say would you like would you like would, should, no. Would to ask, well, would you like, would you like to go out? Would you like? And would you like out? Well, what do you think of Indian food? In Japanese. Japanese. Say the complete, the complete. It's not Japan. Japanese. Japanese, Japanese food. Japanese. Japan is the, the country, Japanese. but Japanese is there are from Ooh. Japan. Okay, Japanese. Uh -huh. And we have cold. 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 Okay, aquí omitimos la, la cold. I. Uh -huh, it's cold. 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 And oh. that's it. Okay, oh. Carlos, and one more volunteer. Alex, do you want to try? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Voy a iniciar. Okay. 
say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for a day. Yeah, I know either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant in here. It's called Hiroshima. Oh, I always wanted to go here. Terrific. Let's go. Excellent. Great job. Okay. I always wanted to go there. There. Okay. Only that. Excellent. Good job. Questions about vocabulary? No, for me, no. Okay, so let's continue. We have the usage of so, to, neither, and either. Okay, and here we have uh, some examples. For example, I like Japanese food a lot. Okay, so. You can say, so do I, or I do too. Okay, really, I don't like it very much. Okay, this is for disagree. Las primeras serían, if you are agree with the first sentence or with the first statement. I like Japanese food a lot. Okay, entonces, if you are agree with that statement, you are going to say, so do I. But if you are disagree, if you don't like Japanese food, really, I don't like it very much. Okay, entonces la primera sería to agree. And in the second one, for disagree. Okay, I'm crazy about desert. So am I, or I am too. Okay, oh, I'm not. Y luego tenemos, I can eat really spicy food, okay, like Fernando. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. Or I can too. Really, I can't. For example, it's that, that, that is my case. I can't eat anything spicy. And este sería para el caso de so and to, que los utilizaríamos cuando estamos haciendo como, estamos como de acuerdo con lo que se dijo antes, con la frase que se dijo antes. And then we have neither and either, ¿ok? Que esto lo vamos a utilizar in negative cases. I don't like gra greasy food, ¿ok? Like french fries or Okay, neither do I. Okay, neither do I. Okay, entonces, se empieza con un negative statement, I don't like. Entonces, en la respuesta, como es una respuesta, eh, digamos que negativa, pero en forma positiva. Porque es, a mí tampoco, no, o sea, no, a ti no te gusta, a mí tampoco. Neither do I. Or, I don't either. Okay, sería para negatives. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Okay, what is the meaning of mood? Ya que no me preguntaron. Do you know? Modo. Estado. Mm -hmm. Yes. Como eh, las ganas de o algo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Más eso, como ah, no, no me siento como like to feel with the, um, como, ajá, yes, como con las ganas. Uh, 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 I'm not in the mood. Okay, I'm not interested. No, no me siento bien, no me siento cómoda, no, ajá, no tengo las ganas, no me apetece for Indian food. 
Okay, neither am I, or I'm not either. Okay, y para la, en este caso, para la positiva, really, I am. I can stand fast food. Okay, neither can I, or I can't either. Oh, I love it. Como nos dijo la compañera por ahí. Ok, entonces, let's see. Here we have more examples. De cuándo lo vamos a, a utilizar. I don't know if it is clear. Muy bien, tenemos, the, those are adverbs. He so neither to. Y dice que se, se utilizan para mostrar coincidencia con lo que otra persona ha expresado. Ok, por eso primero va ya sea un positive statement or un negative statement. Ok, y tendrían el significado de eh, yo también, yo tampoco, a mí también. Ok, so neither to. Okay, ¿Cómo lo vamos a utilizar? Dice que como eh, vimos mi, okay, yo también, okay, me too, es utilizada, dice, cuando es una oración afirmativa, que es lo que veíamos, y luego en el caso contrario, if, is, if it is a negative statement, una oración negativa, vamos a utilizar neither. Y si ven, las posiciones cambian en el caso de Neither and either. ¿Verdad que lo veíamos? Uh, where is it? Well, neither and either. Y ambas son para negativo, pero la posición eh, cambiaba. ¿Verdad? Neither iría al principio, neither do I. And either iría al final. I don't either. ¿Ok? Y... Eh, en el caso de either, lo vamos a mantener en negativo. I don't. I'm not either. I can't either. Se mantiene la respuesta o la la Yes. La, la respuesta in negative. I don't like racy food. I don't either. Ok, pero si vamos a utilizar neither, que lo vamos a utilizar al inicio, entonces sería neither do I, y ahí cambiamos a positivo la respuesta neither do I y ahí tenemos some examples ok, I love chocolate me too I'm not hungry me neither y luego tenemos so en neither, que también serían como los opuestos. Siempre so para positive statement and neither para negative statements. Okay. I have got a new jacket. So have I. I don't eat meat. Neither do I. Okay. Ahí cambia con el neither. Si está en negative, pasa positive. Ok. Mm, questions. Eh, teacher, eh, si sí, digamos yo quisiera decir, uh, a mí no me gusta la pacaya, vea. Sería, I don't like pacaya. Y si lo aplico como usted ha dicho, sería eh, mi neither. Uh, como me neither. Ajá. Me, me neither. Me neither, pero. Me neither. Uh -huh. Podría o sea, ser. Como a mí, si alguien me contestara, a mí tampoco. Ajá. Podría ah, ser yeah. neither o podría ser eh, either. Cualquiera de las dos. Porque uh -huh. como está diciendo con negativo, uh -huh. Uh -huh. cualquiera de las dos podría ser. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Ok. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yes. Fíjese de que yo de la plataforma eh, no he entendido el, el ejercicio 3.4. ¿Será que se desarrolla con este tema? 
Mm, ahorita lo vemos. Okay. Eso mismo iba a preguntar yo, solamente que tenía la duda con respecto sí, a la es, es lo mismo. Es. es lo mismo, es lo mismo. Neither do I. Es lo mismo. La respuesta solo se va a poner sin el punto. 3.3, tenemos the video, then we have, ah, 3.4, me dijeron, perdón. Yes. Yes. Sí. Muy bien, dice, um, ay, it's not this, sorry. This one. He writes responses to show agreement with these statements. Do not use periods. No van a utilizar puntos porque ya están ahí. Que dice, I'm not crazy about French food. Que si está en negativo, entonces podemos utilizar cuáles. Neither. Neither I am. Okay. Neither I am. Neither I am. Okay, in positive. Yes. No, sería neither in I. I'm not neither. In I. Mm -hmm. neither am I. Neither am I. Yeah. Neither. Porque en positivo, eso es lo que no entiendo, ese switch. De, porque lo que entendí en esta, ahí donde se está en el, en el, en el classroom, uh -huh. vamos es... a jugar con el verbo que está, por ejemplo, la segunda dice, si lo puedes subir un poquito que no lo puedo ver, I can eat any kind of food. Y eh, vamos a jugar con el verbo, esa es la respuesta que vamos a pegar después de, de, de la palabra. Por ejemplo, abajo sería... Neither can I. Ajá, Un ejemplo, porque, si fuera... porque estamos usando el auxiliar can, correcto. Exacto. Exacto. Solo el switch con el either, que lo copié, pero fíjese que en otra página. Eh, ese switch es el que me costó un poquito. Le soy bien sincero en el. Pero si no quieren hacer el cambio, hizo. pueden usar either. Si no quieren hacer el cambio, vaya, pero hagamos la segunda con either. Eh, mm, no, pero, ah, pero, aquí, pero aquí está en positivo, entonces it, aquí it, no. Ajá. Es, yes, yes, en positivo. ¿Cómo se dice? Teacher, it, 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 Espérenme, levanta I la mano que es, oigo un solo relajo. Raise your hand, Marjorie. <laughs> Una pregunta, eh, no importa cómo lo coloquemos en la plataforma, media vez esté correcta la, la respuesta. Solo hay porque tu usted ahí, Ok, porque aquí usted le pone Nether am I. Uh -huh. Y yo en la plataforma la puse, pero a mí me la aceptó como I'm not a either. Yes, eso es lo que les decía, que podemos, si, si no quieren hacer el switch, como decía Alex, este, porque se van a trabar, lo pueden dejar en negativo, pero utilizando either, y either iría al final. Entonces pueden ser cualquiera de las dos. Ya vamos a ver, en la siguiente negativa la vamos a hacer con either. Okay. Olga. Ok, Sí, lo mismo que la compañera, porque a mí me la dio, eh, así como la tiene usted, la di, la puse yo, pero me la dio mala. ¿Se la dio mala? Sí. Vaya, vamos a y ver. También le volví, y también le volví, y le cambié también a I am, y también me la dio mala. Cierto, Entonces, así me pasó a mí también, en neither I am, me salió mala. ¿Le salió mala? Sí. Ah, a bueno, a mí, a mí me salió bien. Neither I am. Am I. Am I. O I am. Y hay varias. Y hay, hay otra también. Hay otra también. Mal. Pero la cuatro. Había escrito mal neither. 
<laughs> que number two, ¿cómo nos quedaría? I can eat any kind of food. Mm -hmm. I can too. Or so can so I. Can, so, so can I. I. So. So can I. Okay. Number three. I think Mexican food is delicious. Utilizando el otro. So do I. Utilizando two. I do oh, too. I, 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 do too. I do I do too. Yes. Olga, do you have a question? Okay, do you have a Yes? Sí, no solo la, la, la cuatro y las cinco sí me salieron buenas. Buenas, las demás no. <laughs> eh, quiero ver la ocho. Sí. <laughs> to write the comma here with two. I do comma two. It's supposedly to have a comma. In number four, by aquí vamos a usar either. I can stand crazy food. We can either. Uh -huh. I can either. Uh, negativo. I can't either. Uh, así no me quedo, me. Either. Either. Neither can I. With yeah, comma. No, right. No comma. I can't either. Lo otro que tienen que revisar son los apóstrofes. Que en realidad sean los apóstrofes porque a veces eso da un problema. Okay, number five. I don't like salty food. Neither. I don't either. I don't either. Like... I don't either. Neither. Mm -hmm. Neither do I. Okay. I'm in the mood for something spicy. So I am. Two and I. Or, uh huh. I'm. I am two. two. I am two. Yes. And number seven. I'm crazy about Korean food. Utilizando two. I am too. So I am. I am too. I don't enjoy fast food very much. Neither do I. Utilicemos either en esta. I don't. Either. Don't either. I don't either. I don't. I don't either. No coma, dijimos, perdón. Here. No. Number nine. I do too. I do too. I always eat healthy food. With so, so, so do I, so do I, I can't eat seafood, neither can I, neither can I, neither can I, neither can I, El switch. can I, Cambio. can I, well, let's check. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't enjoy fast food. Only this one. Mm -hmm. 
a mí me la aceptó como neither do I. Neither, neither do I, exacto. Neither do I. Yes. Ok, ahí están. Me tomé la captura si quieren. Yep. Sí. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, este sería el exercise 3.4, right? Muy bien. Hasta aquí nos quedaríamos. I don't know if you have questions. Este es más como de, de práctica. You have to practice. Así sería. Ok. El ejercicio que está en el, en el material... It's the same, right? Es el que acabamos de hacer. I'm not crazy about French food. French food. Yes, right? Yes, it's the same. Okay. Great statements, this is. Se le va a quedar de homework. Great. Use the statements in exercise four. You are going to write Two statements, at least. One in positive and one in negative. Y lo vamos a ver mañana para, para hacer juegos de respuestas. Como so do I or neither, neither am I. Ok, entonces van a hacer dos oraciones. One in positive, por ejemplo... I like French fries or I love Italian food. Y van a ser uno en negativo. I don't enjoy eating fast food, for example. Okay, y luego vamos a formar pareja para que puedan hacer la respuesta. Yes. Así que eso sería for tomorrow, para el día de mañana. Del Classroom, ¿qué, ¿qué página vio para el, el, la tarea de mañana? Ah, ahorita se lo digo. Sería... Está en la page 87, la última parte. Exercise C, que dice... Se lo puedo poner aquí. This part. Write statements. Solo que ustedes van a hacer two. One in positive and one in negative. Y write a statement. In practice. May I take your order? Yeah. About these things. Que okay, kinds of food you like. Ahí va a escoger only two. Kinds of food you can stand and kinds of food you are in the mood for. Okay, vamos a ver de qué tienen ganas mañana. Okay, it's clear what you are going to do. Can stand, eh, una referencia de esa. Uh, Número dos. Can stand is something you don't like for any chance. Algo que no, no le gusta. No lo soporto. I can't stand that. O sea, no lo pasa ni... I can't stand pacaya. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, so do I. So do I. <laughs> yes, ajá, entonces así sería el ejercicio de mañana. Ok. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Hey, Vilma. Yes, teacher. Vilma is here. No. Good evening, teacher. Vilma, what are you? Yes. Ah, okay. Ya lo vi. Luis Josué. Luis Josué, no. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Ah, Luis. Hello, Okay, so that's all for today. No, 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 no. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Get bye, rest. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Nos despedimos. Bye bye, Eileen. And yes, si la puse, quiero ver. Let me check. Su primer nombre, Aileen. Aileen. No, pero el primer nombre, ¿cuál es? Es Aileen o Lorena. Lorena, Lorena. es el segundo. Uh -huh. No la encuentro. O por Álvarez, tal vez, el apellido. Si no me equivoco, soy como de las terceras. Ok. Sí, sí, la puse. Ok. Yes. Así estoy bien. Ok. Sí, es un modo. Bye-bye.